Hey guys, um, today we're going to look at the difference in um, some religions. We're going to talk about five major religions. This will be the first video on that. Um, we're going to look at Islam first. Uh, Islam's followers are called Muslims. It was founded by a man right here. We see his name is Muhammad. A.D. Um, A.D. does not mean after death. It means Ano Domini. It's Latin for in the year of our Lord. So we, we've been taught A.D. means the year that Jesus was born. So it's in that year. Okay. If we did after death, it, we wouldn't start till year 33. And there'd be a 33 year. Um, was led to become a prophet by the god Allah. Um, he helped him set up the Pada, but Allah Muhammad is his prophet. Um, they have the Salat, which they have to pray five times a day facing Mecca, which is the east. Um, they have a prayer rug. They go through a ritual where they get down um, on both knees, much like Christian prayer. Um, they put their head on the ground, bowing to Mecca. And then they come back and they and they say their prayers. And they do this uh, at sunrise, mid-morning, mid-afternoon, evening, and bedtime. They also have to give to alms or charity to those in need. They also fast during the month of Ramadan. That's the fourth pillar of the psalm. Um, and that's where they eat nothing during the day and eat very light food after sundown or at dinner. And the last one is um, the pilgrimage to Mecca, where they have to go to um, the holy city, and they go through different steps. And I'll, I'll put a video on here that shows that as well. But um, the only thing, the only two reasons you don't have to go is if you're not physically able or you're not financially able. Um, their symbol, like Christianity's symbol, is the cross. Theirs is the star and crescent. Um, Christianity has churches. They have mosques that they go to pray in. As you can see, there's not a lot of places to sit because you go in and you pray at these different ones. And these are um, a lot of the different ones around the world. And their holy book is the Quran. Um, that's what they read. That's what they study. So that is pretty much Islam in a nutshell. Remember, you need to pick three facts from each of these and make a uh, slideshow for those. Um, I'll have Hinduism up for you in the next couple days.